Yo, dude, what up? I bet you look in the mirror every day and ask yourself, Self, why aren't I subscribed to a Patreon that discusses pop culture featuring prehistoric animals? Well, guess what? You can be at patreon.com slash MatthewDonald. There you can find bonus content for both my shows, The Ritwit and Paleobites. For the Paleobites bonus content, just like you always wanted, we discuss pop culture featuring prehistoric animals. All your dreams have come true. This month we're talking about Dinotopia, the world beneath the second big extravagant picture book in the Dinotopia franchise. Oh, it's great stuff. So beautiful. Such beautiful artwork. It is my personal favorite out of all of them. Got some great stuff, and it's so cool. A lot of cool stuff. It's really great. Link is in the description for you can sign up to the Patreon. Thank you for your support, and have a lovely day! Roar! Growl! Snarl! Hello. Welcome to Paleo Bites. The podcast is horny as Protoceratops. Uh, that is to say, not horny at all. Uh, Protoceratops <laughs> didn't have horns. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Matthew yeah. Donnelly. <laughs> Ma- my name is Matthew Donnelly. Each week, I and a rotating series of guest co-hosts talk about and rate a genus of prehistoric animal, be it dinosaur, mammal, arthropod, and so on. This week, I'm joined by the overlord of dinosaurs, but the non-overlord of showing up to D and D sessions. <laughs> it's Lawrence Mack. How are you? I, I'm good. I think that full intro with the overlord of dinosaurs and non-overlord of showing up to D and D. I think just shows uh, that uh, we are really as horny as Protoceratops. I think it really fits. Yeah. <laughs> God, the virgin energy on this show. Uh, it's, uh, it is. Uh, well, well, you're married strong. though, so. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. I mean, we'll, I won't. I won't delve yeah. into any questions there. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're saving yourself until marriage. You are married. Uh, well, I'm saving uh, myself until the baby arrives. Second marriage. I'm, yeah. yeah I'm <laughs> saving just, myself until the baby. It's arrives. like, uh, let me tell you. Don't know how. Um, let me. You know how babies are made, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> I saw some article about some couple who were like they're glor- they're they're like married they've been married for like 15 years and they've still never done anything if they're if, besides like kissing uh, if they're asexual but not aromantic it's okay otherwise stop it you puritans go right. wild <laughs> I mean, it, it, it was like religious reasons too. oh like, yeah but uh, you're married <laughs> Really? <laughs> God wants you to bone. Exactly. <laughs> like, I mean, once you're married, we got to repopulate the earth. Be fruitful and <laughs> multiply. Yeah, exactly. I mean, maybe not so much anymore thanks to climate change, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, we gotta you gotta keep multiplying and having more babies so God can destroy him in the next flood or something. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you could <laughs> dinosaur related question, since we're on the subject and since this is a kid friendly show, if you could have babies with a dinosaur <laughs> 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 Which dinosaur <laughs> and why? <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, if you if you want to keep it PG, uh, <laughs> you would just you, you're a couple with a nice one you adopt, uh, or or you go all out. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, I was thinking, you know, maybe like say like a T Rex or Giganotosaurus or something. That way, I wouldn't. Have, Giganotosaurus you know, it's more like Gigolosaurus. <laughs> 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 I've lost all the kids. I've uh, lost all, actually, no, the kids will find this hilarious. I've lost all the yeah, parents exactly. of the kids. Yeah, the, the, the parents are shutting us off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kids, put in your earphones for this section. That way, uh, uh, your parents don't overhear and uh, make you turn it off. <laughs> it's kind of funny when I was a kid and I uh, was coming up with some fancy creatures. Like, of course, you have megalodon, and I was like, "Oh, well, you know, would be even bigger. Let's have a bigger megalodon. Let's call it Gigalodon." And then I was, and later on, I looked back like. No. <laughs> no, 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 just, just no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I was say you could do, a, you could do a, like a troodon or a raptor, kind of the smart kid, have some smart factor. kids, yeah, exactly. Or you know, it could be like me and just do a pet pachycephalosaurus. You know, I mean, you've already got the headed, the dome head, the exactly bad attitude, the yeah, 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 break down doors with your head. Yeah, you got too much <laughs> hair though. 
They have cue ball heads. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can, uh, oh, man, if you're into that sort of thing, I don't know. I mean, it, it, you know. Just like the John Luke Picard, you know? Bald head. <laughs> yeah, it's the John Luke Picard, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's be like that, 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 that would be the Packy's name. I'd just name him John Luke and, or her John Luke, and, you know. And um, then, yeah, you would. Moan something about Star Trek. And you would look into his <laughs> eyes while you were making the babies and, be, and then say, like, say it, say it. And the Packy's <laughs> would be like, make it so. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd be like, ah, oh, I'm making it so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm engaging. <laughs> Warp factor 10. <laughs> Initiate docking procedures. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to make sure we uh, beam everything out for uh, pregnancy protection. <laughs> what? what? I, I have only myself to blame. Yeah, yeah. I, this I is all my fault. Go there. Uh, I oh, think it'd wait. be in disingenuous for me to not answer the question. Right. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, a tough one. Here, I'm gonna. I'm going to. Um, there's a Japanese dinosaur called Fukui Raptor. It's spelled out, spelled <laughs> Q Raptor. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Oh my god. I'm about to write that down and be like, I want you to pronounce this dinosaur name. <laughs> yeah, it's F U K U I Raptor. Fukui Raptor. Fukui Raptor. F U I Raptor. It's in the name. Yeah, see, exactly. It's perfect. <laughs> I dig it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, we're talking about yeah. <laughs> um, uh, long squama, <laughs> aka long scales. Hey, is, is that the reason why you chose this? We're talking about no. I just, uh, <clears throat> speaking <clears throat> of long scales, right? right? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> All right. This is a little lizard esque sort of thing. Stuff. It's not a lizard. Right. Type. What is it though? It is a currently classified as a sort of archosauromorph. The group of diapsids more closely related to archosaurs, which are dinosaurs, pterosaurs, and crocodiles, than other reptiles. Interesting. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Size five to seven inches, thirteen to eighteen centimeters. You know what else is five? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say nowadays that's like a medium of sorts. Oh, okay. oh gosh. <laughs> hey, with with the extends, that's. Uh... <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> three to five ounces or 80, 85 to 140 grams. You know what else is? No. <laughs> uh, diet carnivore, specifically an insectivore. You know what else? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't want to know how the, you know, what else is an insectivore. Well, that, no, I was, uh, yeah. Cockroaches? Is, is that what that yeah, is? Yeah. I, it's I, like earwigs? I have, I, I, look. The uh, heart wants what it wants, all right? It, it, I mean, yeah, I mean, no judgment, no judgment. <laughs> Time, mid to late Triassic, 235 to 229 million years ago. So early Triassic, well, mid to late Triassic, actually, but before the dinosaurs Triassic. Right, so, yeah. So. It, it seems kind of small for, uh, oh, you said the name, I was picturing something longer. <laughs> Long as Longer, swim. bigger. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's always, you know, it's always about the size with you, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. I don't care how you use it. It's just got to, you know, stretch. Location. <laughs> location. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Uh, Kyrgyzstan. Okay. You know, that part of the Middle East that... Location. It's only been found in Kyrgyzstan? Yeah, that's all they've got. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Surprised it's yeah, it's just like so isolated. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Describe 1970 pop culture appearances. Dizzy's dinosaur had one at the beginning, where it was chased by a young Parasaurolophus. Remember that, where it was like yeah. flapping and the like, little flapping. Yep. 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 Uh, nowhere near Parasaurolophus in terms of time, but whatever. Eh, Look, looked cool. Yeah. Poetic license. <laughs> also, a favorite book of mine, How to Keep Dinosaurs, featured them as a possible creature you could farm for their scales to make fancy clothes. How long? And also, how like, many would you have to have to make clothes for a person if these are well, only about, five about, to eight inches long? More, more like a, a good hat, <laughs> like a feathery nineteen twenties hat. Nah, yeah, yeah, or or maybe a nice scarf. Ooh, yes. Also, talk about like you can have them do tricks where like these these uh these uh long scales could raise and lower. 
Oh, and just do so it all in sequence. Go. Have a bunch of them do it all simultaneously. Could, could so we're, I, I think you said before, I'm not sure if you said it on here, about the flapping. I'm not sure if they could really fly or just, like, flap. That's just a theory. Uh, Maybe we could, like, train them to be, like, doves at weddings. Ooh. Because then they obviously couldn't get too far away, so you just scoop them back up. That's true, because they can't really fly. They can just kind of, like... Yeah, just flap just a few times. Yeah. yeah, maybe a couple fall on the groom's head or something. Yeah. They create for a nice video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. Exactly. Why aren't they doing that? All right, it's extinct. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. Okay. Details, details. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Make it happen. The exactly. The wedding planner is like... The... Come on, InGen. Get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Bridezilla won't be satisfied until a bunch of long, <laughs> long <Bridezilla>. esquamas. <laughs> like... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. I don't know if people talk about this, but the Triassic period was freaking weird. Uh, the early and mid Triassic are full of crazy, crazy creatures like armored crocodilians with spiked shoulders, synapsids the size of Asian elephants, uh, toothless marine reptiles the size of whales. Remember Shastasaurus? We did an yeah. episode on that. The last episode we did together. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, creatures that flew with their back legs rather than their front, like every f- other flying creature. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, and giant creatures. Bipedal crocodile relatives that were basically Triassic T Rex, uh, and this is and this isn't even the dinosaurs. Like, I was gonna say, is this like evolution trying to like figure out? Well, that's what happens after. Way? That's what happens after a giant mass extinction. Evolution experiments with a bunch of weird ass designs to see what yeah. sticks to fill the vacant niches. So yeah, yeah. So and then everybody goes extinct, and Jurassic shows up, and yeah, boom, you got dinosaurs instead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There you go. Well, also, also, I say I go all about all over the place in terms of how to pronounce niches on the show. Is it niches? Is it niches? Is it niches? Is it niches? <laughs> it's not niches. <laughs> yeah, it's not niches. Nobody says niches. I personally, I always say niches. Niches. Niche. Yeah. I, I think it's one of those that can just be pronounced any way you I want. just feel like no matter which way I'm pronouncing it, I'm pissing someone off. <laughs> yeah. Let's say the other day, uh, my wife and I were reading um, a book. We're in the middle of reading the Storm, uh, sorry, the Mistborn trilogy from Brandon Sanderson. Yeah. And at some point they talk about despots and but the word despot comes up and You're like despot? Despot. <laughs> despot's the place. And, and the way it's like spelled with other like words in the English language, you kind of expect it to be despot. Or Despo. Or Despo. Something. Oh, yeah. like depot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like depot, yeah, because that's T is like silent. It, because there's other words like that. But um, <laughs> I had to link it up, and she hated me for it. I looked it up, and the official, like, correct pronunciation list is supposed to be despot. Mm-hmm. She was so mad at me for, like, a week. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> I, I like dis- dis- Dispo or Despo. Yeah. I want to go to Home Depot after this. Exactly. Yeah. That, I think she might even made some similar comment, too. We're going to uh, go to Home Depot. Off, office Depot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, the permanent extinction beforehand was not only a big mass extinction, but only the biggest. So, evolution experimented with a lot of weird creatures. And one of the creatures is this guy, Longus Squama. This thing looked like a little lizard or proto dinosaur, but had these giant long scales. Yes, like the name. Good job getting the connection. Here's your cookie. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's coming out of its back. Scientists disagree about the alignment of these scales. Some have theorized they come in pairs and can be held outwards like wings, allowing them to glide or even have limited flight capabilities. Interesting. This isn't as widely agreed upon anymore, probably because it's too cool and scientists don't like cool things. Exactly. It's got to be land yeah, and it's basic. Like, why, why, this, uh, why couldn't it be, have venomous spines? on its wings I could slash at like Doc Ock's tentacles exactly how how come it didn't have like you know eight eyes popping out of its, yeah. its head yeah why couldn't it breathe fire like a little dragon right yeah how do they know who who gave them the authority well, like, to say like, that like, that's not right? like why couldn't it scientists I swear this is all part of the liberal woke agenda <laughs> yeah darn liberals <laughs> making long trauma a shawarma snack. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of del- delusional, <laughs> some scientists actually think that lung esquama might have been the true origin of birds. <laughs> because all the evidence of them of pointing to them evolving from dinosaurs is too mainstream. 
Uh, of course, that can't be. It's too popular. It's too widely accepted. Yeah, that can't be right anymore. We so gotta that, change it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's just how some scientists are. Despite evidence, if it's pretty much exclusively pointing one direction, some of them just have to be all contrary and be like, "Oh, actually, well, this is how it was. Birds evolved from long esquama." <laughs> <laughs> And you know what else about from Long Shawarma? Hmm. Long Shawarma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so I talked about this on the show before. I cannot believe I know this. Uh, uh, long pork is a, is a, another name for human meat. So if you're ever please? in the black market and someone says, would you like some specialty long pork? Run the hell away! Like, we haven't run the hell away now. Why do you know this? <laughs> I think I read it on TV Tropes or something. <laughs> wow. Uh, so if, if so, by that logic, long shawarma um, uh, is shawarma of human meat. So since I said that on the episode, having some long shawarma, does that mean the FBI is going to come after me now? Mm-hmm. Hey, Fred, I think my... F- you might at the very least get those mumps on your tongue that I've heard that you get <laughs> when you eat too much human meat. I don't know how I know that either. Yeah, right. Uh, um, yeah, it's like weird diseases and stuff or something. Almost like it. You shouldn't do it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I think- I, it's, it's natural selection, people. Like, <laughs> I thought we were supposed to get to the same point as, as Black Widow spiders or... or- or, uh, yeah, bring that back. Yeah, praying mantises. Yeah, praying stuff. mantises. Yeah, yeah, yeah as like, soon as we mate, boom, you're in. Yeah, the, the, the heads <laughs> just displayed somewhere else. Like that created for a really high divorce rate, I guess. One hundred percent. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're that one couple who's so god fearing that they won't even uh, do anything after marriage. What is wrong with you? Right. <laughs> just do it. Exactly. Just Get on with it. The sexual tension between you two must be huge. Relieve that tension. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure the wife will relieve it at some point in some sort of a uh, long pulled pork sandwich. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. So I heard a joke. <laughs> Here's a joke. Uh, Thankfully, it's not related to long pork in any way. Oh, goodness. We're, we're changing the subject. And it's not related to long esquama either, though, oh. but it just made me think of that. Okay. So, um, <laughs> So there was this uh, nice uh, elderly couple, uh, very prolific. They had uh, 12 kids, all of them brunettes except for one redhead. Um, <laughs> as the wife was on her deathbed, uh, the husband went up to her because she summoned him. And then he was like, I think I know what this is about. The redhead's not mine, is he? And, she's, and then she's like, oh, no, that one's yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> As for what long Esquama actually was. <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about a dinosaur? Well, that maybe on the I show? don't know. I just have a dinosaur type. I mean, okay, actually some have some say it's a primitive archosaur, maybe even an early dinosaur. It would have been a truly early one though. Mm. As no dinosaur is confirmed from two hundred and thirty five million years ago when this thing first evolved. Uh, that would be weird if that was the first dinosaur. Was this weird flying one with long scales? Right, I was Except gonna say maybe you not could kind of combine that if like you really piss off the people who think the long esquama was like the uh, ancestor to birds. You know, really piss people off and be like, well, it was also the ancestor of dinosaurs. Well, if it was the ancestor of dinosaurs, then it would also be the ancestor of birds. It would be the ancestor of birds. Exactly. There'd just be a few extra steps, but exactly. <laughs> you know, it fits. It keeps the mainstream going. Boom. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah. Simplest answer is usually the right one, right? Something right. Like well, that. actually, some have said it's a lepidosauromorph, the group of reptiles more closely related to lizards than to archosaurs. Uh, oh. Some have said it's an avicephalid, a group of arboreal reptiles in the Permian Early Triassic that includes some other gliding ones, including that one, I think, that was telling you, that you, you know, the, the one that flew with its back legs rather than oh, its yeah. you know, uh-huh. or vicks. I don't know how. It's <laughs> 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 Anyways, um, uh, so yet a 2002 re-examination of the fossil could not find the presence of Fenestra that could confirm it as a true archosaur, and instead tentatively placed it in the more basal archosaur morphs, the ones that aren't quite archosaurs but are closely related to them, closer to them than other reptiles. What a mess! No kidding. Maybe it would help if they found more fi- more uh, more files, <laughs> more fossils than uh, outside outside uh, of Kazakhstan. Uh, Kazakhstan, yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll get some more answers that way. Obviously, it's not like you have much of a choice. You either find them or you don't, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go to Kyrgyzstan. I don't even know where Kyrgyzstan... I know it's in the Middle East, but I don't want to... Yeah, like... 
Is it above? It's is it near Afghanistan? I have no idea. It's I, I'm going to sound super racist. Like it's like it ends in Stan, therefore it's all the same place. <laughs> right. All all the stands over there in one spot. This yep. is so bad. <laughs> abort joke. Abort joke. Abort, abort joke. Abort. Um, where's my eject button here? Can you know, Turkey <laughs> is a, actually quite a beautiful place. I was actually looking it up. I, I assumed it was again like as an ignorant American. I thought it was kind of like the Middle East too. No, it's yeah. like rolling hills and like oh really like forests and. And mountains. I'm also in East America. I thought. I mean, I, I didn't know. I thought it was kind of like on the edge of the Middle East. I, I mean, it sure is. It I mean, really Istanbul. You know, uh, which is the capital. Um, not Constantinople. No, Istanbul. <laughs> not Constantinople. I do think that every time. <laughs> I know. It, uh, it's right at the border between uh, Europe and Asia. It's one of two countries that's in both Europe and Asia. Ah, okay. And gotcha. Istanbul is an, the only city that's in both two con- that's in two continents. So. Oh, okay. But anyways. Yeah, I, I was just pictured it. It was more desert like. Yeah. Yeah. Us ignorant Americans. Right. It's like if you look I at. I, as an ignorant American, I just want to go to Hungary so yeah. I can <sighs> yeah. cure my hunger. I want to go to Turkey so I can have Thanksgiving. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. They, they have Thanksgiving in Turkey? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Maybe they do. Some other type of Thanksgiving. Right, yeah. Anyways, yeah. ignorant Americans. Again, <laughs> so you draw the maps. Like, here's America. <laughs> here's Banana Republic down here. Banana Republic. <laughs> over down across the water here is Kangaroo Land. <laughs> and then over there is Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> <laughs> Up there is Coronavirus Land. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was the whole planet at this point. <laughs> okay, that's true. That's it's... why all the aliens left. That's why the... Uh, uh, Pentagon was okay releasing the UFO, UFO footage. Up, up yeah. there is Soviet, no longer Soviet land. Yeah. <laughs> Down there is the country of Africa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this again. Okay, this is the ignorant American talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's write one longest squamal one yeah. out of sixty-five million, shall we? <laughs> well. Since uh, if you have if you, if you have some long esquama and make it some long shawarma, it ends up somehow becoming human meat instead of ancient potentially dinosaur potentially bird meat. Funny how that works. Yeah, um, <laughs> I could go for some chicken shawarma, right? Which is actually you know could be an ancestor, a, a descendant, right? Yeah, of exactly. long esquama. That's that's a, yeah. Get some chicken shawarma. And you'd be like, hey, it's my longest swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And then you toss it up in the air, a pigeon will catch it, and it'll have wings and fly away. It all comes together. It all comes together. Like a Seinfeld a episode. comes together. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, well, I'm going to rate it like, I don't know, 30 million. I mean, it's cool, but. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. If they could prove maybe something about the flying or. Mm. If they could fit it in to where it might have been like a really early dinosaur and could have obviously potentially led to. To birds and, and whatnot, that that would rate that would make it a lot higher. Yeah. <clears throat> so like in the future, if that information comes out for me, I might give it like yeah forty eight or something. Yeah. But as it stands now, with just what we don't know and yeah. our poor shawarma jokes aside, I give it like a twenty eight. Okay, sounds yeah. good. All right, well, that's it for this week. If you want to get a hold of the show, you can contact me at matchthematthewdonaldcreator.com. T- tell us what in the world this podcast has gone down to hell, man. <laughs> it's like with all these jokes. Right. Is, my is children this supposed to be a listen. dinosaur podcast or just a... Uh... As one of the people that is saving myself until the day of I die from <laughs> because of religion, I am inc- I find this incredibly offensive. I'm like, well... Hey. I mean, if you're that religious, you're probably not listening to a podcast about those uh, heathen dinosaurs either. It's true, those heathen yeah. dinosaurs. <laughs> and uh, evolution. <laughs> Gay marriage. Uh, uh, dinosaurs. All of it's evil. The dinosaurs died because an asteroid made them gay, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a that was a quote from Parks and Rec. Oh, was it Parks and Rec? Oh, I think it is. Yeah. I think I think you're right. I think it was from Parks and Rec. Or was it one of those shows? I've, I, I've seen all Parks and Rec. It sounds familiar. Yeah. I haven't oh, seen my, oh, my, oh, it might have been Kimmy Schmidt. Uh, the Titus Andromeda oh, said it, yeah. Maybe. Because he grew up in the southern area, and like you talk about, like, I, I, my school told me that dinosaurs were extinct because an asteroid made them gay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's probably true. I mean... Hmm. Asteroid came down. They're like, "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> a 
That's all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> all right. Apple Books, seriously, Amazon, Megazone, I can remember for any kind of another podcast the right way. Greatest five stars in the Bible. Guys, if you're interested in writing, blah, 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 blah. That's it for this week. <laughs> I don't yeah, care anymore. We're done. <laughs> this show is dead. It's dead as the dinosaurs it talks about. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yep. It's, uh, <laughs> I think right. this was dead about half an hour ago. All right. Well, that's it for this week. It was at the end of every episode of Paleo Bites. I mean, his scales fat. We were like, <laughs> hey, hey, you want some long pork? Ooh. Ooh. How much? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>